Oh my god, I just started this vlog and I wasn't recording. Hello, weekly vlog. I'm just in a really good mood. Happy Monday! <laughs> Why am I like this? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just went through my new Stitch Fix box. I love Stitch Fix. So I just took everything out and I'm gonna try it on for you. Before I show you guys what I got in my current fix, I just wanted to let you know if you are also someone who has really struggled to find plus size clothing that actually really has that fit down, like the way the clothes fit. It can be so frustrating when like every brand kind of runs differently in sizing, especially with plus, or like when you lift your arms and it pulls but like everything else fits really good or like the pants fit really good on your waist but then you have like bagginess in your crotch. Like, I know how frustrating that is. And one reason that I really stand behind Stitch Fix that I've talked about before is that they really care about the fit of their clothing and what you're gonna be getting in your fix. They're gonna make sure it will fit you the right way. You will feel confident and comfortable in these clothing pieces because they've really taken the time and they really do care about that. And I know my followers are of all sizes. Some of you are straight size, plus size, a little bit of everything and I love that we are a diverse group like that. I love to support Stitch Fix because they carry sizes for everyone. They have women sizes 0 through 24W. They also carry size extra small through 3X. Maternity, petite. They also have men sizes extra small through 3X. Shout out to having men's plus size as well. And kids in 2T to 14. So, so much. Alright, let's get into what I got in my fix. Oh, this sweater is so cute. Alright, so Stitch Fix is amazing. I have been working with them for a long time. I actually helped them start their plus sizes back with my girl Allison and Christine. But they're a styling service. Ooh, this is so cute and holiday. Let me back you up. Oh, I love this sweater. I love the balloon sleeves. Love the colors. So you will get a personal stylist. They will have the algorithms to figure out what you want and need, the right sizes. Let's say you're just trying to stock up on like basics. You can let your stylist know. Let's say you have a special event one month. The holidays are coming. You really want a velvet dress that fits really nice on the waist but is loose down below and this color. Like they got you. <laughs> They got you. So that box I showed you, that was my fix. You guys can schedule a fix whenever. I love their app, it's easy to maneuver. And it will be like coordinating with your lifestyle and your preferences, what you're looking for. It will. You can give feedback on each box so they learn about your sizing and maybe a brand runs big or small. They'll, they got you. So this sweater is actually a collab with one of my friends, Katie Storino. Um, I went on a Stitch Fix trip with her before and she is an amazing person. She was so sweet, so funny. I remember I just had a really good talk with her um, when we were on that trip. I really liked her. Um, and she actually is the creator of Mega Babe. I love this sweater. So cute, so holiday. So let's try on the next thing. Okay, but like how cute is this Rebecca Minkoff jacket? I love that Stitch Fix has tons of amazing brands that carry plus size in their repertoire, in their system. So you're gonna be hooked up on like the top styles, fashions, trends. I didn't even know Rebecca Minkoff had plus size, but this is everything. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like fuzzy, but like really soft. It's the perfect color for this time of year. I am obsessed with this jacket. It's also like super cozy. I like the look of wearing it open. Let me know what you guys think. Do we like? Okay, so next we have another piece from the Katie Storino collab. This coat looks like it's just gonna be a dream. I remember when I saw this online, I was like, I need that coat. Like, oh, the inside is leopard print. This coat is amazing. It's like the perfect color. I think it would look so cute with a scarf coming down. These kind of coats are perfect for when you want to be like professional but stylish. I like to wear these kind of coats open, especially when they have a cool lining. Like picture this with like a really sleek pair of skinny jeans, booties, and a really nice blouse and a scarf just flowing down. You're walking in the breeze, <laughs> getting a little animal print action. This coat is everything. 
I love everything in her collection. Like, girlfriend killed it. So next we have another sweater from Rebecca Minkoff. Tis the season for sweaters. I'm here for sweaters. My stylist knows I love sweaters. I can't get enough. It's just the perfect day-to-day -day outfit. Like, honestly, guys, this time of year, I live in a cute sweater and denim <laughs> or joggers. So this is super cute. I love the different tones of blue. It's adorable. Walking in a winter wonderland. Okay, but this denim jacket is everything. It's from the brand Curve Appeal. I love the wash. I like that it's darker. It's extremely comfortable. It's got like a little bit of stretch. It's easy to lift the arms. It feels very movable. Something that I really loved with Stitch Fix was back when I was working with them on their plus size launch, we met with someone talking just about the fit alone. They care a lot about making sure products fit well because the plus size body can be different and they put a lot of effort and time into making sure all the clothes that are in their system fit properly and i honestly noticed that so props to you stitch fix but look how cute this faux fur collar is ah and it's really soft like it kind of adds like a nice warmness to your neck like you don't have to wear a scarf but i don't have anything like this i think that faux fur collar is just adorable so next up here we have this adorable dress this would be perfect for thanksgiving and thanksgiving is this upcoming week so maybe i'll wear it for the holiday like the color like it's it's a thanksgiving dress so my stylist knows that i love a wrap dress i think they're so flattering i love this little crisscross chest detail this is from a brand called dm collection uh, and it's really comfortable it's like stretchy and like I love the kind of butterfly sleeve, but I just think it's really flattering with some cute tights and booties and like a cute floppy hat. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this skirt. Both of these items are the collab of Refinery29 with Eloquy. Oh, this skirt is so cute. And then I have one more skirt. Okay, so this wrap skirt is everything. This is also from the Katie Storino collection. This gorgeous green color with the polka dots is so cute. I've been really into skirts lately. And then it has this on top that folds over and ties. The fit is really nice. I love this skirt. It's so cute. Ugh. So that is everything I got in my current fix. I just wanted to share with you guys what I got and how much I really love Stitch Fix and their fit. I know I've just said fit a million times, but it's really important, especially on the plus size body. I feel like um, I just love that. I love Stitch Fix. You guys are wonderful and I love working with them. Like they're so, so good. I'm proud to back them. So if you guys wanna check them out, I'll leave a link down below. Let's continue with the vlog. raining it's like misting so it's just like unpleasant uh good morning <laughs> happy monday i just went to an appointment got a pedicure and now i'm going to the christmas tree show because <laughs> i haven't been in forever and i want to see if i can find christmas
So I got these. These are only $16.99. And they're pretty big and they're a little white light up trees with a little sack on the bottom for the outside. I think they'll look really cute on my porch. I got two. Also like all I'm gonna be doing until Vlogmas is buying Christmas decor. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna put these because I'm like, I have more room to fill in the house now. So I'm gonna put those side by side on the front door on the porch. And then I got this to hang in the mudroom. This was $19.99. It's weird this was more than a giant tree, but you know, Christmas tree shop be like. And then I got this gold star tree. I just love gold and I love stars. And then I got this nifty little remote control for the trees because they light up outside. My grandpa has one. It's way easier than going out and plugging it in every single night. So, okay. I'm having the most productive afternoon ever. I'm watching Samantha Joe on YouTube. I just organized so many clothes and packages. I'm blessed to have my job but organizing the clothes constantly is a lot. <laughs> but I have a lot to donate to the women's shelter. I have a lot to put in my closet. <laughs> All right guys, I'm about to try the Pure X Barbie Glitterly Brightening Peel Off Mask. Oh, wow. <gasps> Whoa, it is so pink. It is so pink. Okay, now I'm officially like super excited. <laughs> All right, so here's a fun fact. Um, I didn't really time this properly. I have to go pick up Yar from the train station because he's coming home from work. So uh, I gotta go. I gotta go drive like this. <laughs> here's a little update for you. <laughs> On the way here, oh, phenomenal. I peeled most of it off and most of it was dry. I think I just went a little too heavy handed in a few spots, but like when it's still goopy, oh, maybe it's dry now, A. But it was too goopy before, ah, yes. Cause I like to wait till it's dry. Cause I don't feel like it works if you peel it off too soon or wipe off the goo. But I will say I had a few very satisfying peels from this. I like this mask. A lot. Hello vlog. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. So I am at my desk where I usually am. <laughs> it's 1.40 so I have been up filming all morning. I got my workout in this morning. I dry shampooed my hair. You can tell um, <laughs> it's not that good. I love this top though. This is from Nasty Gal. I love the square neckline. It's really cute. So I've just been literally working all morning, filming and editing. I did do this eye look. This is gonna go up um, this upcoming week when you guys are watching this. What am I doing right now? I need, oh my God, I'm like so not focused right now. I was not prepared to film. So what I'm gonna do right now is I just saw a package come. I'm gonna go see what that is. It's probably a Christmas gift. I've been ordering all my Christmas gifts online, finding really good sales. Um, and then I need to go pick up some groceries because I have a special video coming that I'm planning for Vlogmas. I'm trying to make sure I have a really good video for you guys on day one ready to go. And then I have a return to Torrid. I bought this jacket online and I just really don't like the way it fits. So I'm going to pop over to Torrid. Hopefully I'll be a good girl and not shop while I'm in there. <laughs> and just do my return. Let's see if I can do it. Well guys, I did my return and I didn't go shopping so I'm quite proud of myself. Also, this is my outfit. I love this skirt from Nasty Gal. And the top is old from I think Target. So, mission accomplished. Woo! Guys, the time has finally come. Oh my god. The magical eBay package of my overpriced Shane Dawson palette has arrived. <laughs> I'm so happy. Guys, I will have a makeup tutorial coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm such a loser. <laughs> I paid three times the price 
on the internet. Shane Dawson's my favorite YouTuber. I couldn't not do this. If you missed the previous vlog explanation, I don't want to say the whole story again. I tried extremely hard to get the palette on launch day, bottom line, and ended up having to buy it. Marked up on eBay. Just took off my heels. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is like the ultimate unboxing. Oh my god. Oh. It came with a receipt and stuff, so I know it's legitimate. Oh, look at it. This packaging is crazy good. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Oh my god, look at that. That is so dope. Oh, yes. These colors are insane. I didn't just want this palette because I love Shane Dawson with my whole heart, but like the colors are so me. Like oh, most of them anyway are so wearable. Ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta go tell my friends. Here's a little close up of the colors. Oh. Ooh, they're so they're so nice. Like the pigment is crazy. Ooh. I love all the prints too. I hate to mess them up, but they're going to get messed up. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, Trisha is everything. Ooh, flaming hot. Whoa. That is literal Cheeto dust. Hello guys, it is now Thursday. I just got this shirt in the mail from ASOS. It says authentic. I'm really into these kind of like distressed oversized t-shirts lately. So from a brand called New Girl Order, I really, really like those on ASOS. I think they're really, really cute. And they have like really kind of sassy designs. Um, I don't know, I like them. So I just went to Whole Foods. I have a bunch of stuff in the back. I will do a haul when I get home. They had peonies, my favorite flower. So I got some peonies. But now I have to run in and get grocery bags because I forgot at a different store. And you have to get like grocery bags for the town you live in. So like I need to go get those cause I'm low and trash day is tomorrow. I got a basketball game tomorrow. Even just seeing this makes me happy. Like, oh my God, Christmas. Okay guys, I am home from the store. I also had to go and get blood drawn for a doctor appointment. I hate it. So I bought myself flowers to cheer myself up. My favorite, my favorite flowers. And they haven't had them at Whole Foods in a long time. So I'm excited. They just make me really happy. So I've got my vase. I'll put those in. I'll bore you with that. Oh my God, Yara's gonna be so hyped. He is obsessed with Whole Foods ginger ale and they never have it in stock of like a big 12 pack, but they have it. He's gonna be excited. So it's, I've tried it, it tastes way more gingery. Like it actually tastes like authentic ginger ale. We have green beans. Tonight I'm gonna make chicken breast risotto and green beans. Trash bags. Uh, we eat a lot of knockoff Cheerios in the morning. Cheese. Oh, I wanted to try these cauliflower crackers. I was comparing the nutrition label with like the Annie's kind of cheese it looking things and like it was a big difference. Granted, it was the same price and there's less product, but I just want to see how they taste. I like to try new things. Uh, I got pita chips because I'm going to make one of my favorite foods today. I'm going to take you guys along. Got baking soda. I've talked about these before. Uh, Smart Sweets. I love Smart Sweets. Oh, they are like low sugar candy. This whole bag only has three grams of sugar, but they just put out peach rings. And I've never tried those before. I've only tried the gummy bears and then Swedish fish. So I'm excited to try these. I'll let you know how they are. They're just like a nice after dinner snack. Um, skinny pop, cheese, cakes, I don't know. Um, grated Parmesan, I feel like I'm always cooking with that. Then I got this chicken breast that looked oh, phenomenal. That'll be for dinner. I really like having little cheese 
snacks to nibble on when I like need something to pick me up throughout the day. I've never tried these before, but they are little mozzarella balls in like little snack packages. And then I've been baking a lot for the holiday season, so vanilla extract. Then bananas, watermelon, grapes. I'm trying to drink less Diet Coke, so I've been buying Zevia. This is the cherry cola. It has no calories, but it also doesn't have that pesky aspartame. So they use stevia leaf extract to sweeten it because um, I know Diet Coke is going to kill me. So small changes. So then I got low fat vanilla yogurt. I put them in my breakfast smoothies. I make smoothies almost every day with like frozen fruit, bananas, yogurt. Um, sometimes I add kale, but to be honest, I don't like the way it tastes, but sometimes I do. Avocado for avocado toast. And then, last but not least, the main star, a rotisserie chicken. I don't know why I am craving my famous buffalo chicken dip for lunch. I'm starving. It just sounds really good and like hearty. So I'm just gonna have that with some pita chips and have some celery in the fridge. Oh, here is what the dip looks like. I know it looks a little crazy right now. So I literally just pulled off the chicken breast from the rotisserie chicken, then I save the rest for another time. And I throw in blue cheese crumbles, non-fat to Greek yogurt, a little bit of ranch seasoning, salt and pepper, and then I throw some cheese on top. Yum! I'm cooking dinner and watching the Kardashians, and Courtney just goes, hi, Sharon, how are you? And then the home pod goes, I'm quite good, how are you? <laughs> Made my heart explode. So I am making a risotto, green beans, and I have chicken breasts in the oven. I love risotto. It takes a while, but it's totally worth it. It's so futuristic. I'm freaked out. <laughs> I need to talk about this. I didn't even realize I put this filter on. My man loves tech, so like we watched <laughs> the Tesla live doopy dop thing that just happened with the new cyber truck i just <laughs> i just need to know i just need to know who just saw that happen i can't stop thinking about the broken windows <laughs> not over it i can't okay so if you guys didn't just watch that like i'm sure a lot of you didn't <laughs> they're doing a test demonstration of how strong these windows are what were they called like Something glass. fancy, like some fancy unbreakable glass. They're dropping big metal balls on it from like a super high point and they showed with regular glass that the glass would just break fine. Then they have a guy come out, <laughs> the head designer or something. Yeah, yeah. So he came out and like Elon like gave him the ball or whatever and he's like, throw it at it. <laughs> Like a shattered one window, and he's like, try it again. <laughs> like, try the other window. And you could tell he threw it less hard, but it still broke the second window. He's like, well, it didn't go through the window. That was, That's okay. That was the cringiest thing I've ever seen. It was, I, I couldn't, I can't stop thinking about it. I just needed to express this. <laughs> like, how am I going to sleep? <laughs> I don't know. It's what I'm going to be thinking about for like the next four days. I just watched that back, and Garmin goes, you and your burnt titty. <laughs> Okay, like I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen it. I just need you to see it. So swipe up. I, I found it on YouTube. You can swipe up, go to 725 to see where it starts. I thought it was a prank at first. I'm still talking about it and I'm still thinking about it. I just feel really bad that that happened. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Good night. I'm sorry that happened, Elon Musk. I hope you're okay. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It is 12 o'clock now. Woke up. Worked out, made a smoothie, worked. Now I'm going over to my grandma's to have a quick lunch with her. And then I need to go to the grocery store because yesterday when I went and bought the stuff I needed to make this video with Gab, I forgot three things. And I had a list and I'm like, yeah. Like as I was looking at my car, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Got everything. Like, why am I like this? <laughs> I forgot three things. So I need to go back and get the last three things. 
we I don't think I told you guys I tell you that we're pre-filming for vlogmas um because I want to have something special for vlogmas day one so also I totally copied Samantha Joe and got this at Target from Wild Fable it is so comfy and oversized I just got the XL slash XXL and it's super baggy even when I zipper it so super cute I'll link it okay guys so it is the nighttime now 9.24 to be exact. I'm here at my computer. I did not vlog tonight. I was with Gabby because we were filming a different video. So I don't have content for tonight. But tomorrow I will have content for you. All right, guys, this is the process. Back at the b -Lux Salon. I love this place. And I love the girl who does my hair, Heather, so much. She'll say hi to you guys later. But right now I'm just processing my hair. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And uh, I'll show you guys later what's going on. But just working on those roots, getting it going. Heather just finished my hair. Heather's the best. You guys need to come to her at the Belux Salon if you are in the Massachusetts area. Fresh blonde. What she did we do? She looks amazing. So we originally had done a full balayage on Alexandra uh, several months ago. Mm -hmm. And when she came in today, she really just needed a refresh. Yeah. So all we did was kind of a mini foil, micro foils right around the front. We kind of painted on the ends. We put a glaze on it, blew her out. So little, easy. Little wave. And it just looks so good. So once you like do it, you can kind of keep up with it more easily too, which helps. Super easy. This appointment today was only like two hours. Yeah, like so fast, so fast. So she always kills it. I just want to show you guys. I'm obsessed. I'll leave their Instagram down below. Yay. Bye. <laughs> Guys, I'm vlogging on a Saturday for you because <laughs> we're at, at home, at home. We're going to look at some Christmas decor, honey, and I'm going to bring y'all along for this magical ride. Bring y'all. Wick Southern from, I'm, I'm British. I don't know who you're fighting. Busy today, huh? Yeah, it's really busy. I mean, it's Saturday. People's time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so excited. <laughs> wow, babe, look at that upside down white Christmas tree. No more trees. More, more trees, more trees. I want a tree in every room of the house. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, babe, we really, this is ornament central. This is time. It's time for us to get ornaments. Oh my god. How many trees is my max for the house? That's a good price. Oh, it has sparkles. Can you guys see on camera? That is so pretty. Oh. It's LED. Oh. Ugh. I want that one. The rainbow one? How much? How much do you want it? Ah. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just gonna deck out our front lawn. Guys, this is tree central. We're getting a real tree this year though for the living room. These are good trees though, and these prices are good. 129, and they're pre-lit. Pre-lit. Oh, oh, Bubba, can we get that giant tree? Would that fit in the house? Wait, whoa, there's more? Wow. 500 for this ginormous tree is amazing. Oh, I love these little, I like these gold presents. Do I have a ladder? Or is that my job? Oh, it's your job. <laughs> Are, oh, so we're buying this giant tree? <laughs> we're gonna buy the tree? Take it down. Yarmin's. Huh? Where's your Diet Coke? My Diet Coke's in the car. You want some? Damn, you craving that aspartame? Bubba, what would you do if I wanted to put one of these in the front yard? No. Why? Oh, he got a brain freeze. Look at he got a brain freeze. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, so I think our theme for our living room tree is going to be gold. Look at all this gold! Look how cute! The bell still rings for all those who still believe. <laughs> it's so cute. Like, oh I need a baby. Yarman, huh? put a baby in me. <laughs> We're pretty much just going to grab a bunch of ornaments and cute gold stuff for the living room and all that jazz. So. Ooh, we're trying to find a tree topper. I love this little angel. It's not really my vibe, but I love angels. Ooh. Do you like stars or angels for the tree topper, bud? Are you open minded? I don't know. Open I'm indifferent. Minded. Also, my shirt it is seems, from Target. It seems like it's your lane. It seems like it's what? Your lane. It is my lane. I appreciate you staying out of it. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> can you please put your hand next to those giant balls so I can show them the difference of size? So you're using my hand as a <laughs> reference. Can you please fist it? <laughs> Look at that giant ball. All right, guys, here's the update here. We got a tree skirt. She's super cute. Love her. We've got, we're going for the gold vibe. This is a gift. Got some birds. I think they're pretty cool. Um, just trying to see if we can find some like feathery, garlandy vibes. You know what I mean? Okay, so our trip was very successful. <laughs> but you guys are gonna have to wait and see our video where we decorate the tree to see all of our stuff. So stay tuned, subscribe. Vlogmas is coming. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm about to try a new drink at Starbucks. <laughs> I mean, where? Uh, do, uh, that was exactly, you caught that. Good, oh, good, good. Um, so we're about to try, we, you're going to try it too. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll have a sip of it. You like the pink drink. I'm going to try the violet drink, the purple drink today. Um, so the pink drink is just the strawberry acai refresher with coconut milk. So this one is the hibiscus refresher with coconut milk. And I really like the hibiscus refresher. So I'm excited. I like my matcha lemonade. Basic ass beach. I also need to tell you guys, I put this on my Insta story. <laughs> Yarmin went to flip me off earlier today and he's like, I can't flip you off. So he put up his ring finger. And now he just keeps going like this. Okay, so this is the purple violet drink. You can see all like the berries in that. And this is his matcha lemonade. Okay, so if you guys don't like matcha, because matcha is garbage matcha it's on taste. matcha on its own is garbage um it's not garbage it's nasty no. it's nasty have you ever had matcha on its own Jeez. did you have it on its own before yes did you yeah without the lemonade and you liked For it sure. yeah <laughs> all right well it's like drinking coffee when you drink coffee not a lot of people like it do they that's true. Once you like get over it and get the, you know. You're right, you're right. So he introduced it to me of matcha lemonade. So when you go to Starbucks, try getting a matcha lemonade if you don't like regular matcha. It's pretty good. Um, it's definitely an acquired taste, but it does really give you a nice jolt of energy without feeling a crash after. All right, so here we go. I'm excited. I love pink drinks. So let's see if this can live up to the hype and or if I just wasted like five effing dollars. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> I think I like it. Would you like to try? Do you taste like nutmeg or Christmas eggnog? <laughs> like I taste blackberry for sure. Look at these flyaways in my. Because it's the very, very hibiscus. I like it though. The pink drink's better. Yeah, the pink drink is better. The pink drink's way better. Yeah, I agree. But I do I do like it to an extent. Would I order it every time? No. Uh, Would I order it once in a blue moon? Sure. Yeah. Am I mad about it today? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to my unboxing channel. Today we have AirPods Pro. <laughs> so we're about to unbox these bad boys, eh? Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I need these because my boyfriend likes to play his podcast super loud. Love you, babe. Um, but in general, though, like I'm actually really excited about these. I love my AirPods now. 
but I like that these have noise cancellation or transparency mode. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so they do come with the... Uh... Oh my God, I'm like so professional right now. They do come with other... Also, it's 6 p.m. I'm in my pajamas. I just took my makeup off. Like, okay. They come with other... What are these called? Tri-tips? Tips. Tri-tips? What is Your a tri-tip? Tip? Where did I get that from? No idea. They come with three. Ah. You're mine, you know? It's... Fair enough. So, the case is like very rectangular. So, how do I do this, honey? <laughs> All right, well, you know what we're recording on right now? You're gonna oh, we're to... recording on the phone that we, that we need. So, I'll come back and let you know how they are. Oh, here they are. Connect. Press once on either AirPod to play pause. Twice to skip forward. Press on either AirPod to switch. Press and hold onto the, the long part. That's how you switch. Press the slider volume to view additional controls. You focused. I am so focused. Okay, what's next? Am I supposed to do it? All right. Announce messages. Wow, have Siri read out messages without having to unlock your iPhone. No. Alex's, oh, I like how they know it's me. Hey, that's it? So, it's, yeah. so now I put them in my ears? They're just like a little, <laughs> they're so little. They're in. How do I know if they fit right? Hello. How do I know if it's in transparent? Hello. Okay, like talk to me. Can you hear me? Are you talking right now? I am talking I can't to hear you. you at all. Wow! Can you hear yourself yelling wow? How do I know if I'm on non-transparency now? I don't know. What does your phone say? Okay, I think I just turned it off. Can you hear me? Nope, I didn't. Hmm. Talk, talk to me now. Hello. Hello. Okay. I'm talking with you. I'm chatting with you. Talk to me more. Hello. Hi. That's all you have to say? That's all I have to say. Okay, now Just let me see if it, if it changes. Hello. It does make a Bing noise. Yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming the Bing noise is it switching from modes. <gasps> That's so weird! Oh my goodness. These work really well. Yeah? You need to put them in your ear hole. Yes. I need you to I need you to sense this vibe. <laughs> this is crazy. Like so, like you hold it down and it goes boop, and then like you sound wicked far away. That's crazy. These little things, huh? These are totally worth it. These are sick. I can't hear you at all. You wanna try them? Um, sure. But I feel like you don't even know how to use them yet. Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. Uh, all you do is hold. I feel like there's more to it though. No. No? You literally hold it down and it goes boop and then it, like, you know, it changes. You want to know what's funny? What? The amount of videos I watched on these AirPods and I don't even know how they work. <laughs> I know! You should know everything! I'm used to these little things. But they did say in the video, uh, in amazing. this little thing here, like it's tap, 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 the usual. Yeah. So, but that, when it goes from noise cancellation to non and back, it's like, it's like really good. what? It's, it's pretty trippy. Cause all yeah. of a sudden you just sound like really muffled and far away. Did you do the ear fit test? No, how right? do you, I don't know how you even do it. Yeah. Like, where do I go in the I phone? We can know? dig. I'm, I'm assuming it's settings somewhere. Oh, I bet you're right. Yeah. If you go to settings, maybe if you search ear fit, I don't know, AirPods or something. You ready? So I need to go, yeah. So you need to go to the Bluetooth. Oh, I see. Ear tip fit test. Can I show test. them your phone? Yeah. So I'm going down to ear tip fit test. That's insane. Please see everything with ears so they're comfortable and secure. We're so excited for these, aren't you? Can you even hear me? It's playing music. Oh, that's cool. Good seal, good seal. Ah, you're good then. Yeah. Look at you. You're perfect right out of the box. I have normal ear holes. What can I say? That's... That was a compliment. Oh, so if you go here too, you can click noise cancellation and transparency if you don't want to hold the little doopy dot. Where? Right here. Oh. Yeah. So, right so now you can I choose. Have it on... Yep. So you right, right now you have it in transparency so you can hear me. I bet now you can't hear me. Can you hear me? Hello? No. Bubba? Wait, did you hear me? You can't hear me. What? Oh my god, these things are... <laughs> I can hear you now. Oh. Yeah, I'm on non-transparency now. Why are you yelling? <laughs> I 
I don't know. This is, okay, like I'm talking normal. 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 Wow. You need to try these on. It's so okay. weird. All right, I'll try them off. I'll That's try. so cool. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So plop them in to those pretty little ears. All right. Let's see. This is the first time. I know. This is the actual first time. I've been wanting these. Yeah. But I've been holding myself back. Because you're such a budget-friendly fella. Well, not that. I don't need them. That's true. You have 4,000 headphones. Yeah, I'll, 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 I could probably... Just like yeah, a little wait, snippet. Wait, before... before Headphone I try hole. Them on, before, before I try those on, the reason why I, I... I don't know. This might change my mind. But these I use in the office. These things here are perfect. They're comfortable. Yeah. I don't... You know, they're, I don't know, they're just perfect. They're perfect everyday headphones. AirPods. <laughs> These, I use when I work out. These are my running headphones, my weightlifting headphones, my everything being active. Headphones. Headphones. Power Beats Pro. Phenomenal. <laughs> headphones. These, home. called Beats X. I use this while I'm walking around, commuting to work. The they're train. nice on the train because they're not super noise canceling, but they're noise isolating. I think it's the term. Okay. And these are perfect when I'm commuting about from home to work and back. Perfect. Beats X. Perfect. <laughs> and these are the Beat uh -oh. Studio 3 wireless, which I use when I'm traveling. And when, I don't know. I, I, I use really, them a lot. Too. Yeah. When I really want to, like these are really noise canceling. My hair is stuck. No. Yeah. <laughs> Hurts when that comes okay. it's stuck in my hair. So, so he doesn't really need another pair of freaking headphones. Let's see. <laughs> All right, these little things. I think right now they're on noise on. cancellation. Let me see. All right, pop them in. I'm gonna put okay. them on. I'll start with transparency. Okay. Because when you feel the transition of transparency to noise canceling, it's so crazy. Oh, that noise. Wait, hold on. My voice. I hear it. Because you're on transparency. Okay. So you, right now you can hear me talking. These sound nice. Right? But you can hear me talking, right? I could hear you talking. Cool. Ready? Is that Taylor Swift? It's um, Camila Cabello. Oh, completely wrong. <laughs> All right, I'm one, two, three. Noise cancellation. So now you can't really hear me, can you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't what? that the weirdest thing ever? You Like, you're... Like, you're not lip syncing or anything, right? No, like, I'm talking. <laughs> I can't it? hear you. No, you can't. That's insane. I know. I know. You want them now. Our next trip, like, we got to try these on an airplane. Oh, yes. Great idea. I have no idea what you just said, but like. <laughs> I'm bopping you back to transparency. So now you're back in transparency. <laughs> Isn't all right, you know what? Like, these might actually be useful. Yeah. So I don't have to be, like, circling around all these use cases with these different headphones. Actually, true. That would be a one-size-fits-all for all situations. But I bought... You know, <laughs> no, you much, already have... You know how much money are in... Like, ugh. Literally, like, a thousand dollars. These are great, though. Yeah. Oh, no, no I can't. I, I, I know. I'm so glad you reacted I that way. I can't justify... Crazy. But they're amazing. I know. I can't so justify good. them. Shit, dude. All right, guys, been fully enjoying the AirPods Pro for a few hours now. I'm just going to say this. I, they kind of, kind of hurt my ears just a little bit. Ah, you like these, don't you? Shut up. <laughs> Those are so uh, comfy. These, like, kind of, what is it called? Ear stress? Um, Ear fatigue. Ear fatigue. <laughs> it's like... It feels just kind of sore in my ear hole, my ear canal. Yeah. Um, when I'm wearing them, I've been wearing them for hours editing this vlog now. It's the night before you guys are watching this. I don't know. I have two weeks to return them if not. I really like them though, but they kind of hurt a little. What's a girl to do? I'd say what would give them a couple of days. All right. Give them a couple of days. And I did try on all the different tips to see. But, like, the noise cancellation in the regular mode is just, oh, it's so cool. Like, it's just so cool. Maybe my ears will adjust. I don't know. <sighs> well, maybe you guys don't have as sensitive ears as I do. But they work super good. Yeah. Yeah. Now you see why I have, like, 
five different types of for headphones different things. for each instance. Yeah, I get that now, Bubba. It's crazy, though. It's crazy and carrying all that. But, so, but I, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was super long, super fun. I feel bad I missed some videos when I was sick, so I wanted to give you guys a great vlog. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And hopefully, you enjoyed seeing more of Bubba. Yeah, it's been real. It's been fun. This is real. This is me. Peace. I'm delirious like always. Siri always activates on my computer. All right. It's almost Vlogmas. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun and fresh vlogs. Every day in December through Christmas. How are you going to do it? This is the last vlog before Christmas. What am I, what, what I going to do? Vlogmas. 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 That? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. Bye vlog! Uh...